Hi guys, welcome back. This all feels very um, professional. I've got my actual proper camera and I've actually got some lights out and um, it's kind of nice. It feels nice to actually have sort of like a proper <laughs> setup rather than always being like, hello to the camera. Hi, if you are brand new to this channel, it's nice to have you. Please do hit the subscribe button. It'd be amazing to have you. For everyone else, welcome back. Um, this is a video that I personally search for when I'm on YouTube. Every season I always ask myself, right, what are going to be the pieces or the trends that I need to get my hands on quick, like sooner rather than later, before they completely run out, before every single influencer is wearing it and it literally sells out everywhere. What do I need to buy now? And there's a few different kind of YouTubers that I, that I love watching that I see do very kind of this sort of video. I kind of wanted to create a video myself that was really kind of in depth and had loads of advice and loads of info and lots of clothing and accessories most importantly. So I am really really proud to say that this video is a sponsored integration with Netaporte. So a lot of the pieces that you'll see today are from Netaporte. I'll be throwing a few others in. But the overall idea of this video is to give you a real insight into what I think are the key pieces for autumn winter. Yes, autumn winter is almost here. My favourite, favourite season is autumn because it's coats, blazers, scarves, um, boots most importantly. You know how I feel about those kind of pieces of clothing. My wardrobe is practically just knitwear so <laughs> So it's, it's just my style to a T, so I'm excited about autumn. So in this video I'm going to be talking through all of the pieces that I personally believe are going to be the sellouts of the season. So if you want to get the advice on what I think is going to be big this season, you might want to buy some things now potentially, or get dupes or anything similar. But also what trends that I think are amazing for the season. Obviously with trends I'm not someone who buys into trends a lot. I often like to buy key pieces that I think are really cool, but also wearable and somewhat classic and transcendable into other seasons. But now and again I do like the odd trend if I feel that I can wear it a lot, so it's more versatile. Right, so let's just get into this. Okay, piece number one, or trend number one, more specifically, is puff sleeves, poofy sleeves. So I'm gonna kick off this trend mainly because I'm wearing one right now. I saw this dress on Netaporte the other day and immediately was like, it's so cute, it's just beautiful. Really dainty paisley print and it's in a linen. I mean, I'm a little bit obsessed with this more textured linen fabric right now. But these beautiful poofed, poof, puffy sleeves are what I'm talking about. This sort of puffy sleeve trend is going to be big this season and it's that kind of very feminine style so that when you're kind of layered up in your coats or your jeans again or you're back in your, your faux leather trousers you can throw on a blouse or a shirt or a top or you can throw on a dress. You could put tights on with this, some over knee boots and it will look amazing. Like this with a gorgeous like big camel coat over it and some over knee boots or even calf length boots beautiful. For me, with the colours being this like blues and yellows, for me it feels very kind of autumnal, summer into autumn, so I feel this is still very, very wearable for the next few months, that's for sure, but it's absolutely beautiful. I just love how dainty and more busy it gets towards the sleeves. Few other options. Now this one is also kind of part of the whole bralette trend, so I had to get this just to show you. I will be talking about bralettes in a bit, but I wanted to put this in here because it does have the bigger poofy sleeves to go with it. This is so lovely, very structured. It's got a very Victoriana feel about it. I just thought it was really quite gorgeous. But that is just another option for a more poofy sleeve feel. And obviously, I mean, you could wear that out with some amazing, like that I'd love to wear with like faux leather trousers, a gorgeous belt, that, some heels. Next top to mention, this I got last season, but it's back in stock. I'll link it below. Um, this is a shirt that I wore to death last season. I know so many of you bought it. But again, it's got these beautiful big poofy sleeves. It's got lace work, it's almost like crochet almost bits on here. Gorgeous um, shoulders that just kind of give you a bit more shape on the shoulders. It is such a fantastic blouse, like I might actually rebuy it again just in case I ruin one because it, I love it that much in my wardrobe. 
so that's a fantastic option if you want to go for something that's a little bit more easy to wear but you still want to kind of get involved in the more puffy sleeve trend and I don't know whether to say poofy or puffy and then this is a beautiful beautiful option if you're someone who loves to be like the lady of the house the lady of the manor vibes this is so stunning. Again, it's like a beautiful linen in beige. This attaches around the shoulders with elastic style, but then gives a really puffed out um, shoulder and arm feel. This dress is a bit more midi. There's something a little bit handmade, what's it called, handmade? Handmade's tail about it, I feel. It's just something very simple, very simplistic, very, very minimal but with the right accessories and the right styling, you could make this look so flipping chic. Um, so I wanted to try it and see how it went. But yeah, again, a very easy, simple way of wearing a puffy sleeve. They're not too big, they're not too over the top, but just look really cool. Next up, let's talk about coats. My favorite piece of clothing are coats. Um, and I have two here that I feel are gonna be like the sellouts of the season. Two gorgeous styles as well that I feel that anyone can pull off. Um, first of all, I mean, you know how I feel about camel coats. This is a brand new one to my collection. It's still got the tag on. I literally got it this morning. This is a Holland Cooper gorgeous camel coat. I'll leave a few links down below for any that I find on Netta Porte that are also quite similar that you may love as an alternative but this is the kind of thing that I wrap myself in most days when I go out the house in autumn winter. This kind of coat that's just very tailored. Tailored coats, trench coats, peplum coats and shearling coats are the big things of this season. Trench coats I feel are so easy to wear. That whole vibe that Burberry and Aquascutum made so popular and you know, just a bit kind of military trench feel. Fantastic, absolutely gorgeous. But for me, a more tailored jacket that's kind of got a number of different buttons on it, has a bit more of a structured feel, such a flattering look, so that's why I just love it so much. Fab. So I just think this is going to be a killer this season. So I definitely keep an eye out for this coat or a coat of a similar style. And then guys, this coat I had to pick up immediately because I feel this is going to be like gold dust. Perfectly aptly said because it's very gold itself. This is a Prada coat. Again, it's maxi. Absolutely beautiful. You'll see the texture in a minute when I come a bit closer to you now. Oh my goodness gracious me. Saw this on net porte and was just in love with it. Look at can you see? Do you see what I mean about the fabric? It almost has a bit of a linen, linen cotton vibe. Oh, it's beautiful. Pop that collar, cause that's the vibe. Structured, fitted, tailored coat. The most gorgeous amber color. This is the color of the Hermes bag that I want. Still can't find it, Never mind. But just imagine with like a big chunky scarf on in like in a lovely deep navy blue or a brown and some incredible brown tan boots on with this, walking down the street with your bag. Oh, I just think this is gonna be such a coat of the season. It's so chic. It's really quite recognizable if you know of it. Um, and I just think this color is divine. And it's one of those you can wear day into the evening, depending how you dress it up. Okay, let's talk an accessory. And I think the one you've probably probably been expecting is the black chunky boot. Now I don't have the Prada monolith boots here. They had sold out. I will, however, leave a picture and I'll leave a link down below, just in case you're one of the lucky ones who clicks that link and finds them in stock. However, I've got a few other alternatives. Now the chunky boot was huge last season. Well last autumn winter. It was huge. Um, Prada did some incredible boots then. Miu Miu and Prada again this season have done some incredible big chunky boots. So they're still kind of here to stay. Dior also do some fantastic ones, but I found a couple of others that I thought you might like um, instead. First of all being these, I thought these were pretty awesome actually. They are more of a kind of Chelsea boot style in the way that you get them on. They're just completely elasticated. But look at that enormous sole. It's 
huge, absolutely massive. And it's just got that very chunky but cool style, but with a more sort of slender feel around your legs. Now the Prada Monolith boots, they almost have like a little section, it's almost like a little pocket on the side of them that sticks out. A lot of people pr probably won't like that because it accentuates your ankles and maybe makes your legs look a little bit wider than they are. For some people they can really pull it off and it looks amazing. I don't think I could actually pull it off, so there's no point in me even trying. However, these ones I do feel I could get more on board with. These go so hand in hand with another trend I'm going to mention in a minute, which is that almost wet look, like stuck to your legs leggings. <laughs> perfect with these so if you've got some like stirrup leggings or something really slender and slim to your leg you'll be able to slip these on perfectly and they'll look awesome so yeah i want to show you these ones i'll leave obviously links down below as always in order of appearance you know you know the drill by now guys and then these ones super cool i've seen a, pe a few people wear these in the cream they also come in a cream which obviously i mean the whole style as a whole it takes a bit of confidence to wear but cream especially does however the black i feel like so many of you could pull these off without even trying for me they feel a bit more of a wellington boot style but the, there's something really really cool about them i mean definitely the wellington boot vibe and the way it's literally like this rubber upper section so it's got chloe here inscribed into the side um it's got a big chunky zip that's a really nice little detail there and it's just got this huge cleated sole i feel like the cleated sole is just coming back with a vengeance if anyone remembers the jeffrey campbell cleated sole boots i definitely bought a couple of pairs of them leave me a little, oh, what shall I do guys, you guys are so good at this. Leave me the shoe emoji down below, the shoe emoji, if you remember the Jeffrey Campbell massive cleated sole shoes. So these are some I actually own in my own wardrobe. Now these for me were a bit of a different choice, I'm not usually one who likes big chunky boots, I usually go for heeled boots, anything slender and pointed toe. These are very masculine for me, but you know, i just seen them everywhere and I wanted to get something that was a more of a classic style boot that I could wear out and about and actually it would I mean it would probably look super cool with this dress it looks great with shorts you can you know you just gonna have the confidence to kind of rock this kind of thing however these are they're in a slightly smaller they're in a slightly lower price bracket to like the Prada monoliths for example um still not they're not the cheapest of boots but these are fantastic if you're looking for something that's much more classic and wearable but still with a nod to the trend okay next trend we've got is slinky sequin dresses so i feel that that kind of trend is going to be huge for christmas season so if you are going to get out and about you're going to go to your restaurants go to your you know places for dinner and dancing or whatever it's a perfect Christmassy trend. I mean, it's, I kind of feel like it's here every single year. However, it's kind of the thing to look out for. The thing I love about these dresses for a start is they're so beautifully made. There isn't much out there like them on the market. They're not in a crazy, crazy high price bracket. And they look so amazing. In fact, I wore this exact dress recently for a photo shoot for something that's coming out in October, early October, that I haven't yet told you about. It's all a big secret and I'm very, very excited about it. But I wore this for the photo shoot, so you'll probably see that when that comes out. But And just, I mean, look at... Those little beautiful sequins, just stunning. So get your eyes peeled for the perfect sequin little number for your holiday events this year. And I would recommend this one. I mean, it's already selling out like hotcakes already. I'll link a few more below that I think are also like the top, the top notch pieces that you need <laughs> for the season. Next up is blazers. I know I'm a big fan of blazers all year round. However, blazers are set to be like a big, big thing of the season again but also it's likely that we're going to see a lot of blazers and short combos that kind of very off-duty tailored feel so not necessarily suit trousers but shorts as well i always say that you need to invest in some great blazers and have some amazing blazers in your closet like my blazer collection is my pride and joy pretty much everything that you'll see in this video i have bought for the purpose of showing you don't worry i'm not keeping all of this stuff it's literally so i could create this video however this piece i have invested in because i am um, absolutely in love with it and it is just so me you'll see <laughs> guys this is the ysl blazer that i have been searching for and i know i showed you one that i was going to get for my birthday but in the end i thought it was a little bit too short for the vibe that i wanted i wanted something a bit longer and a little bit more 
I don't know, something a bit more tailored about it. And then I found this one. And as you can see from the texture, this is a wool cashmere blazer. Mm. Gold buttons, incredible finish. It is the dream in terms of the fit. And again, I wore this exact blazer on that exact same photo shoot I just mentioned with the slinky dresses. It was on that photo shoot. I was like, I'm gonna have to buy this blazer because it's just so me. Like, look at just how flattering and beautiful this is. And I just think this is going to fly out. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's at the top end of the price scale when it comes to blazers, but it's Saint Laurent. It is a classic, it's wool. It's got so many beautiful features. And just look at that fit. So dreamy. So I have personally invested in this blazer and I think it is one for the season for sure. Just in case you are thinking of investing, I got this in the 36. The, the 34 also fit really nicely. I just felt that for winter, if I want to wear this over the top of a jumper or something a bit thicker, I wanted a little bit more room. So I did size up one from my more fitted size. So I'd usually go for 34 in blazers to make them really fitted. And I went for 36 in this, if that helps. So yeah, I would say if you're wanting a Saint Laurent blazer, this is, this is the dream one and it will sell out without a doubt. Okay, next up, let's just talk about bags as a whole. The first thing I think that is gonna be huge, as it has been all year, is Bottega as a whole. Anything that Bottega is doing right now is just like gold dust. They're just really kind of innovating in the space, creating new shapes, new styles, the whole kind of bracelet, necklace, big chunky vibe, chains. I did in the end end up sending back that yellow bag that I bought a few weeks ago. So many of you loved it, so many of you didn't like it. I ended up sending it back because I didn't think it was quite me, but I think it is like one of the key bags of the season and of the year, I must admit. In the yellow it is amazing, but it also comes in a white that I think is beautiful. If you wanna make it a little bit more classic, then go for the black. To be honest, the pouch is still doing so well on places like net porte The fact that this also comes in a number of different sizes, like the little tiny pouch with the smaller strap, so good, especially for like winter season, if you're going out for like your date nights and your dinner parties, such a great bag to just throw over so daintily over your beautiful sequin dress and your blazer, that kind of thing. So yeah, Bottega I think is still one to really look out for. Another brand that I feel can do no wrong right now is Jacques Mousse. They are just killing it when it comes to the teeny weeny bags, the beautiful linens that they're bringing out, the colours of their blazers. Oh, do you know what? There's one thing I didn't manage to pick up because it's on pre-order. Jacques Mousse are about to launch the most incredible blazer in like a beige linen and it's the exact same shape as the pink blazer that I bought last season. They're bringing that out in a beige and I'm gonna have to buy it because it's so me, it's so big and oversized and so cool and it's the perfect like linen beige. So I feel like Jackie Moose, if you're looking for bags, have a little peek at the different bags that they're doing because they're so, so cute and I feel like they're doing no wrong. There is one bag that I did wanna pick up to show you because I feel like this could potentially be a winner this season. This is the new style Givenchy Antigona and it's in this gorgeous like icy grey blue. When it came out of the bag I was like that's a different shape than I expected and then I realised that the idea with this, I mean it's got all this padding in it and if it didn't I think it would it would kind of help it to move down a bit because I think with this you can kind of push it and this attaches on down here to this little thing and then same with this one like this. The idea being that you can have it as like a taller bag or you can give it this kind of push together shape. I just feel like this is such a more like modernized take on the classic Antigona. It's such a beautiful bag anyway. This is great as well in that you can detach the strap if you want to or you can put it on. My Givenchy Antigona from five year, five, six years ago, the strap is completely attached, you can't take it off. So that's kind of nice if you just want to wear it in the crook of your arm or you just want to carry it like this. It's also a really quite nice size. It's not too large, um, but it's also perfect to hold enough for like a day out. It's beautiful. So I wanted to show this because I saw it and I was like, that's going to be a sellout for the season, I feel. For anyone who is still after the Givenchy Antigona and wants something a bit more modernised, 
this is very very cool okay next up on the trend list is the kind of oversized chunky cardigan again cardigans have been kind of making their way up and up and up but i feel like this season it's going to be like the thing you'll see so many people wearing just like midi tucked into the front of jeans or high-waisted like faux leather trousers that kind of thing so cool so easy to wear now this one i found i feel is such a winner because it's got that vibe of the kate jumpers i feel like it was the kate cardigan that's kind of sparked off this trend a little bit. It's really kind of heightened it in a more luxury style. This cardigan that I found is very, very similar to that, but with a much more, a, a much lower price tag, that's for sure. And I love this. So in, in honesty, I might end up keeping this. And the other reason I got this is because the other trend that I feel is gonna be huge is brown. Anything in brown, brown cardigans, brown dresses, brown jackets. I feel it's gonna be such a huge colour for the season. So this, for me, ticks load of the boxes. It's the most perfect chocolate brown and it's a fantastic shape and style. It's chunky, chunky buttons. I feel like this, guys, is a winner if you wanna get into that style. But the next trend that goes hand in hand with that is bralettes. Like I said, I wanted to mention bralettes because I'm a little bit obsessed with this right now. Um, it's such a nice kind of summer into autumn feel because you can wear a bralette underneath the jumper, underneath the blazer, and it just looks so laid back, so chic. I feel like I've said so chic so much in this video, but I feel like that's what I'm going for right now. Um, and I've got a couple of bralettes here to show you that I feel are like the trend pieces. The Kate bra. Now this is teeny weeny, this is the extra small. And again, I wore this for a shoot recently and it do it does, um, you've got to be careful in it, let's, be, let's just be honest. You can't be like pulling it down ferociously just to make sure you're trying to cover your nipples because if you pull it too hard, your boobs are gonna pop out. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I got this an extra small and it does fit. Maybe I'd go one size larger, but you don't want it to be baggy because then you've got the opposite issue and then it's gonna be, you know, not even fitted to you. However, I feel like this, the Kate bra and the Kate jumper, the cardigan, are what sparked off that whole trend in the first place. So I feel like this season is when it's gonna kind of boom. So the Kate bralette, I've also got the, the Bottega bra. Again, I, in honesty, I've bought this for myself because I do already own it and I feel I'm gonna get so much wear out of it that I bought it a second time. Some things I just buy extra because I know that they're gonna be a piece I use too much. So the Bottega bra, I feel, is one of the best this season because it's the most beautiful knitted feel it's got cream and white pieces kind of threaded through so it gives a really lovely um, effect and it's just really really comfortable and the fact it's got larger triangle bra pieces for someone like me with quite small boobs lovely and I don't feel like I'm gonna come out of it so I love that a lot and it's a um, little bit less than the cape bra as I mentioned earlier Jacquemus are truly on fire right now i had to buy this because i knew it would sell out pronto i'd already bought the skirt to go with it which i'll show you in the cutaways i'd already bought that because i fell absolutely in love with it as soon as i set my eyes on it i messaged my personal shopper at netta porte like oh my god put that on hold right now like literally within a minute of her sending me a picture of it so i thought i'd buy this just to make sure i have the matching bralette but it is so gorgeous it's a little bit more fancy definitely something you'd wear more to a date night or a dinner party it's not the everyday casual vibe however it's beautiful and i think even with like a pair of jeans um, and a gorgeous blazer over top super cool so that is another option which let's be honest that's gonna fly out it's most likely already completely sold out but i'll leave a link down below and then like i mentioned earlier this beautiful piece which has more sleeves going onto it a bit more covered up it's definitely one that a lot more people would want to wear because it's not so much of a bra as it is a little top um but still i think those four are my um my winners for the season okay next up is 90s stretch leggings now Saint Laurent, I feel, might be to blame for this one. And honestly, I'm kind of glad it's coming back because I used to love the more sprayed on, leg like black leggings trend. Anything stirruped, love it. <laughs> I, um, I've seen a few things from Saint Laurent and from Jacquemus, I think. They both have done the kind of very high stirrup leggings. I don't know if I could quite pull those off, 
but I've got a couple of options here that I feel if you want to kind of get more into that more sprayed on stretchy legging feel again they work so well with boots so well with just nice easy cardigans over top I feel a lot of these trends kind of sit very close to each other and that they'd all style so beautifully so for me I'd style the bralette with the oversized jumper with the stretch leggings with the chunky military boots and then throw on a Bottega bag over top you know all these trends kind of sit beautifully together so I've got a few pieces that I think are pretty great if you want to get into the trend so first of all we've got these black Honestly, I feel like I'm going back 10 years now. No, maybe, no, maybe eight years, eight years or so. I feel like my first year of blogging, these were just enormously huge. And these are just a really stretchy, leather look vibe. And, you know, just really easy and simple to wear. They'll be warm as well because they're obviously some kind of like PVC leather. They're gonna be very tightly fitted and very flattering. I know a lot of people sometimes don't like it when there's no pockets on the bums. I know sometimes I'm a bit funny about it because it's literally bum. But if you wear a cardigan or a blazer over it so it's like covered anyway, then great. I think you'll get such a gorgeous effect on the legs, tucked into your boots and it'll look fab. So those are the first pair. The next pair, same brand actually, but they've done it in a velvet. So a really gorgeous black velvet, super comfy and cozy. Just gives a bit of a different effect on the legs. Great for the autumn winter season, as the velvet always is. Um, but they just looked really quite comfortable. So I'll obviously be able to show you those all on in the cutaways. But these ones, I feel I might actually keep these because I'm always on the lookout for the perfect pair of black elasticated style legging legging trousers. Anything that's just nice and fitted and where your legs just slide perfectly into boots without ruching up. Um, and these are a really fantastic one. I mean, look at that boing in there. Perfect elasticated waist. Final, final trend, and that is the bodycon dress. And I feel like I've been seeing so much of the bodycon dress already. Again, I think it transcends so nicely from summer into autumn, mainly because they're usually in more knitted fabrics, things that are a bit chunkier or ribbed. The more luxury side of the market are bringing out more chunky knit versions. They are, however, met with a bigger price tag. If you want something from the likes of Kate, for example, who I feel is a leader in this trend, those dresses will set you back 900 to 1000 plus. They're gorgeous. I mean, I've got the top, the Kate top, that's like a bodice, very, very expensive. I have, however, worn it a lot, thank goodness. But they're bringing out kind of that top in a dress and I feel it's gonna be, it's gonna be the sellout of the season. So if you do wanna invest, then great. But if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable, I found two options that I thought were pretty great. Um, first one being this one, which I have a feeling, I'm not tried these yet, but um, I've got a feeling I'm going to want to keep this one. It's just a really fantastic scoop neck. Yeah, kind of like a round, more of a round neck. It's a lovely ribbed fabric. It feels so super soft, like almost velvety. In fact, is it a velvet? Because it's so super soft, it's gorgeous. And then down into what looks to me like a midi style. Again, fantastic with calf length boots. You could throw a belt on with this. Wonderful with a blazer over top. So I found that version. And then I also found, if you don't want to go for ribbed and you want something a little bit more plain, this one just feels lovely and stretchy. This is also a sustainable brand. Um, not quite as long as the last one. It's just, um, it's just a bit more kind of like jersey vibe, but again, very, very soft and lovely. And just a nice, easy way of getting into that trend for you to be able to style up. But the last piece of show, which isn't necessarily a dress, but it is a bit more bodycon, but I think it's the skirt of the season, and it is my Jacquemus skirt. The one I showed you the matching bralette for. This is one of the best things I think I've bought all year. It's gonna be a sellout if it's not already sellout. I truly hope all these pieces are still in stock by the time I get this video up for you. But this is just fantastic. The linen on this, it's like something out of a French country cottage home. And it's just fab in there. It's got this, this top section is almost like a disjointed waistband. So that goes around your back with this um, elasticated section. And then also this sits there like that. So you just get these cutouts. And it goes down into a lovely pencil slit at the back to give you a bit more room to move around. But it's so, it's just so sexy on. And you could just put this with a white tee and it just looks so pulled together. But yeah, it looked great with the bralette too. You could just have even like a black bodysuit with this. 
or a high neck bodysuit. You could put a jumper with this and tuck it. It is amazing. And sorry, one last thing to show you and that is the anklet bracelet and I picked up this one because I think this is going to be so beautiful and so wearable. It's a really chunky chain for a start which is a huge trend in itself. I was trying to buy one necklace for this video and it's still on pre-order, it's still not out there. I will leave a picture here and I'll leave it linked down below in case it is out. It is a more affordable version of the Bottega, that is for sure, but it's still a luxury designer piece that will look amazing like it would look incredible with my Saint Laurent blazer just chunky and massive and choker style oh absolutely divine so I found this one where I thought ticked a few boxes in terms of trends but also as an anklet is just gonna look so okay you can't you definitely can't see I'm gonna show you on the skirt here just oh god look at that bruise so chic so chunky and beautiful so again i'll leave it linked down below okay right guys i hope you've enjoyed me being back sat down doing this kind of a video again i've actually truly missed it i like being able to like talk more like this with you about fashion and styling and trends um and i've really enjoyed putting this together a lot of research and a lot of time went into this video so i really hope you've got something from it if not just an understanding of the trends for the season, but maybe you've also found a piece that you absolutely love to bits and you wanna get it first before it sells out. In that case, I've done my job. Um, but like I said, if you are brand new, um, I would just love it if you did subscribe. It would be incredible to have you back. For any of you guys who have followed me for a while, make sure you do have post notifications turned on, press that little bell and it will just notify you on your phone when I do post just so you don't miss any videos. Thank you so much to Netta Porte for sponsoring this video. It's been so much fun to work on um, and I'm looking forward to doing many, many more. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you soon.